Hey, what's up? Welcome to the first season of audio tutorials that I'm doing here on YouTube. In this uh, season, we're talking about dynamic processors, and uh, this episode, we're talking about gates. Um, what is a gate? A gate is a dynamic processing effect, and that controls the dynamic content of an audio track. Uh, really simply put, a gate is in front of a club and it doesn't let in short people. That's uh, how you could really visualize what a gate does. A gate acts like an auto mute for spill in between sounds. Uh, let's take an example of the average drum recording. Um, we separately record all the elements of the drum kit. On the recording of the kick drum, there will most likely be spill from the snare drum, and on the snare, there will be some spill from the kick drum, etc. etc. The sounds, as you can see here on this waveform, this is the example of a kick drum, the sounds of the spill in between is a lot softer compared to the sound of the kick drum itself. And of course, we would love to have just the kick drum itself. Uh, here, let's listen to it for now. So as you can clearly hear, there's, uh, there's a lot of uh, background spill in between the sounds that we would want to have. Let's take an overview of the buttons and functions that you will find on most of the gates. As on most dynamic processors, on a gate you will first start off with setting a threshold. The threshold function in this case sets the level of which below the gate actually starts, well, gating, if you want to call it like that. Compared to the compressor where it normally works above the threshold, the gate works below the threshold. As opposed to a compressor where you normally work with a ratio, a gate normally works with a range. And the range is a factor that you can set in dB. So you set an amount of decibels uh, of attenuation of the gate. So that would be attenuation of the signals that are below the threshold. So uh, what it basically does, it makes sounds below the threshold softer. So we increase the dynamic range. And that is the difference between the hardest and the softest sounds. That's basically what a, what a gate does. Uh, if we want to mute it, we put the range in the highest setting. So uh, let's say if it goes up to 40 dB or 70 dB, depending on the model that you have, sometimes it goes to infinite or something like that, then it means that every uh, signal that gets below the threshold will be attenuated with 70 dB, basically making it as good as silent. The next functions determine the speed of the gate, and these are the attack, hold and release time and these settings are normally set in milliseconds this should be looked at from a gate's closed perspective so imagine that the gate is closed and it won't let through any sound until the sound reaches the threshold that's where the attack time kicks in and how fast will the gate open so basically if we have a slow attack time on the snare we we remove that transient sound that that attack part of the snare a gate which is set too slow will give the impression of a fade in basically. When the attack time is passed we approach the whole time and that is the time that the gate will remain to stay open. The release setting is the time it takes for the gate to close again, so that would be the fade out. So we open up the gate with the attack time. It stays open for the duration of the whole time and after that we get the release time and that is the fade out time. So basically we have a fade in, stay open, fade out if you look at the attack, hold, release. Some gates actually offer two thresholds so you can set the point at which you want the gate to close rather than a time. Setting the attack and the release time are really gonna set the shape of the sound. Basically you're applying an ADSR onto a sound. That's how you could see that. Gates also have a key input on which they can receive a different signal to trigger the gate with. On part two of this uh, tutorial, we're going to look at how to set up a gate and uh, how it can be inserted into a project on, uh, on various tracks. And I'm going to show you some of the effects as well. 